coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Fast Team invites one and all to celebrate Chuck Yeager's 100th birthday. FAA clears universal hydrogen test flights. British Air Force claims women cannot fly F-35. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Fast Team invites one and all to celebrate Chuck Yeager's 100th birthday. Brigadier General Charles Elwood Chuck Yeager was a United States Air Force officer, a lordly aviator, and a test pilot blessed with a peculiar amalgam of dazzling aeronautical genius and regimented mania that in 1947 saw him become the first pilot in history to exceed the speed of sound in level flight. Among the most highly skilled and eminently respected airmen of all time, Jaeger piloted over 360 different aircraft over his 70-year flying career. Jaeger's accomplishments were acknowledged with highest accolades bestowed by the U.S. military and the world's preeminent aeronautical associations, the Bronze Star, the Distinguished Service Medal, the Collier, McKay, and Harmon International Trophies, and induction into the National Aviation Hall of Fame, to name a few. The FAA's FAST team invites pilots, aircraft owners and operators, and all those moved by the profound and powerful enterprise of flight to celebrate General Yeager's 100th birthday on February 13, 2023 by engaging in an aviation-oriented activity and reflecting on the determination, applied intellect, indefatigable heart, and steely nerves by which General Yeager and the esteemed aviators gone now from this world urge their machines and the whole of humankind resolutely and ever forward. And after the break, C-130 on floats not coming anytime soon. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. C-130 on floats not coming anytime soon. The initial flight test for a float-equipped C-130 has been postponed indefinitely for the time being, with no ETA on when a demo could be expected. The MC-130J Commando 2 amphibious capability is a project undertaken by the Air Force Special Operations Command to provide warfighters with a more mobile, convenient way to ferry small units throughout oceanic regions without sufficient airfield coverage. The original test flight was supposed to have taken place sometime in 2022. Southwest Airlines to reduce new hire pilot minimums in a move certain to elicit ire from pilot unions and the traveling public, Southwest Airlines is reducing the flight experience requirements prospective new hire pilots must meet in order to be eligible for employment with the airline. Formerly Southwest required pilot applicants to have logged at least 1,000 hours at the controls of turbine-powered aircraft. However, a message sent by the airline to its pilots reportedly sets forth that effective February 7, 2023, Southwest Company website will state the carrier prefers its pilot applicants to have 500 hours of turbine time, fully half the previous requirement. Boeing Bolster 737 MAX Production Boeing is ramping up additional throughput of new 737 MAX aircraft, notifying employees that a new production line in Everett, Washington is on the way. The new line will make four in all, capitalizing on the long backlog and strong demand for the manufacturer's most popular product. Along with the new production line, the company is reactivating its third line in Renton, which has been dormant since December 2019 at the start of its MCAS debacle. Ampere signs letter of intent for Brazilian eco-caravan conversion. 
Ampere has received a letter of intent to upgrade up to six of Connecta's Grand Caravans to Ampere Eco Caravans. Ampere's Eco Caravan is based around their AMP H570 hybrid electric powertrain and battery pack. Ampere finished its first flight of the Eco Caravan in November 2022, and since then went on to obtain a $9 million award from the U.S. Department of Energy. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. FAA clears universal hydrogen test flights. The FAA granted Universal Hydrogen, a California-based energy concern about the commendable endeavor of making hydrogen-powered commercial flight a near-term reality, clearance to proceed with the first flight of its hydrogen-powered test aircraft at East Central Washington State's Grant County International Airport. The FAA's approval takes the form of a special airworthiness certificate in the experimental category. The aircraft by which Universal Hydrogen sets out to vet its proprietary propulsion scheme is the company's own Lightning McLean, a de Havilland-8300 regional airliner, the right engine of which has been replaced by a hydrogen electric powertrain comprising Universal Hydrogen's hydrogen fuel cells and Everett Washington-based MagniX's Magni 650 electric propulsion unit. The Dash 8's left engine remains the OEM 2380 shaft horsepower Pratt & Whitney PW123 turboprop mill the proven reliability of which offsets the hydrogen electric architecture's unknowns and affords safety-critical redundancy. Universal Hydrogen Chief Technology Officer Mark Cousin remarked, quote, In the case of failure of the hydrogen engine, we can return to land safely with the existing Pratt & Whitney engine, end quote. Universal Hydrogen announced in early January 2023 that it had spun up the propeller of Lightning McLean's MagniX built hydrogen fuel cell-powered electric motor for the first time. And after these messages, British Air Force claims women cannot fly F-35. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. British Air Force claims women cannot fly F-35. Citing a high probability of neck injury in combat or the event of pilot ejection, the British Royal Air Force, in an instance inconsistent with the service's penchant for political correctness and identity politics, has set forth that women do not weigh enough to fly the F-35 Lightning II fighter jet. At present, owing to inescapable physiological realities, only pilots weighing more than 150 pounds are cleared to wear the Gen 3 F-35 helmet, a 5-pound, $400,000 or 331,960-pound technological marvel that allows pilots, among other impressive capabilities, to, quote, see through, end quote, the F-35's fuselage while in flight. The information collected by the Lightning II's complex sensor systems to include aircraft and flight environment, targeting, infrared, and night vision data are routed to the Gen 3 helmet and projected before F-35 pilots' eyes, thereby ostensibly compensating for the aircraft's darts of speed and maneuverability and justifying to some degree its tremendous cost. Citing safety concerns that remain despite the existence of a new Gen 3 light helmet, RAF Air Chief Marshal Sir Mike Wigston stated, quote, The lighter helmet that would allow lighter air crew, not just women, to fly the F-35, but we would have challenges in clearing it in safety terms because it does not give the pilot the protection that the other helmet has now, end quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!